Kieran and I met him um, in camp and virtually within an hour I could see a change in him and I think Kieran's reaction was the clearest as I was putting him to bed on that first night he said that's not my dad that's a bad man what do you say to your two-year-old I went to I as Dave Sefton fit and healthy and I came back Dave Sefton not well. You all, you, you're trying, you're trying to go to war. You know, you're doing all your skills, you, you, your life firing, your, your small arms, your first aid, whatever. You, you, you're training every day of your army life to do, to go to war, but. Personally, I never dreamed in my, in my service I would ever go to war. When we got back, basically, there was a bit of a debrief, not much. There was no counselling or there's no debriefs, if you like, as such, to say, is everybody OK? There was nothing like that at that time. Anyone who is married to someone who has served in a theatre of war, they will say the same thing. You can't do that kind of thing and not be changed. I don't feel that the man I've been married to in the last 30 years is the man I married. And I wouldn't swap him for the world, otherwise we wouldn't still be here together after 35 years. But this man's not the man that went to war. We've been very, very fortunate in that we found the NGVFA. Very fortunate. We were in a dark place when we found the charity. They picked us up when we were at rock bottom. I think our biggest, well, my biggest fear when we found the charity was that I was going to have a telephone call from his employer telling me that he'd done something drastic whilst he was at work. The thing is, when you leave, the gate closes. You're not a soldier anymore, you're not a soldier's wife, but you're not a civvy either. So us having that connection with people in the same position as us has filled that gap. Now, when there are younger soldiers approaching the charity, or even people Dave's age who have suddenly realised, I need some help, we feel now that we can assist the charity and give back and be that ear, share our experience. If I have anything to say about the Veterans Lottery, give as much as you can, as often as you can, because every penny counts. Every penny counts towards saving a veteran, his relationship and his family. You know, we, we as a British public, we support charities. So let's keep supporting our veterans because it's really important. I'd say thank you. Because your, your playing of a lottery is invaluable to saving relationships, saving lives. If you'd like to support veterans like Dave and families like mine, and charities like the NGVFA, then please play the Veterans Lottery. Thank you.